You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And that is out of focus again. What, what, is, just he, moved what it. is he doing? He just moved it what again. He... What are you doing? Is it out of focus? Well, I'm, I'm trying to yes, it is. I'm trying to manual focus it. I don't it. care. Oh, it's got autofocus. Yes, it does. You're here for one job. Yeah, but I can't drive because I've broken my foot. But I'm multitasking. Great. I am. I don't care. I, I'm You're not here for driving. You, you should be happy for the work. I'm trying my hardest. Listen, I used to be where you were right now, Collect, all right? Collecting cars, auction site. And hopefully it will do well one day. Yeah, okay. You know, that in the other video games, whatever you want to do. I don't care what you do in your off time. Okay, I'm okay? trying, I'm trying. This is important. I know, I know. Yeah. He's, no, he's still going on. I know. Last chance. I don't know where you found this guy. This is the last time I used Craigslist. Sport, which turns the 718 GT4 into a motor racing derived street legal weapon, which by the way, it kinda already was without the RS. But the team at Porsche GT took it a step further and tweaked it, molded it, transformed it, shoved in a familiar engine that is already legend and with some clever engineering, have optimized it for our aural pleasure. I don't think you can say that on YouTube. No. Can you? No. No, 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 James, like, like, oral for sound, like, A-U-R. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does feel good. Anyway, with great engine and performance, and the Porsche options list, comes great price. The GT4 RS starts at $166,000 Canadian. Chuck on the Weissach package, and even a casual, personalized spec takes you well into the 200,000s. That's actual GT3 money and a well spent one at that. So, does it earn the right to cost that much? Let's find out. If you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing around. So subscribe and hit the bell. All right, GT4 RS. Like the GT4, except now we have the GT3 engine, which means not only do we get more power and more torque, we're also gifted with something quite special. And that's the red line. Because whilst a normal GT4 can rev to 8,000 RPM, the GT4 RS can rev to 9,000, and it does! Wow, wow, oh. It does three and a half seconds to 60, big whoop. The speed doesn't interest me nearly as much as the sound, and yeah, I'm sure that sounds good from the outside, but that's not where the experience of this car is. Since this is the GT3 engine, this air intake, which you and I are so used to seeing on a Cayman, isn't enough. So they've added this air intake, which happens to be covered in carbon fiber reinforced plastic because this is the Weissach package. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But that feeds air into the air box, which is right inside the cabin. And that means that the sound is in the cabin as well. Listen. That last few thousand RPM is just sex. I mean, there's 
no partition, there's no glass, there's no blanket over the airbox. It is right in there with me, right behind my ear. So I can throw through all seven gears and just hear it wailing. It sounds so mechanical. Baby owl! Ooh. I've either really hurt my knee or I'm a baby owl. Because I don't know what that sound is. But for some reason that's the thing that this car elicits. And different to the normal GT4, the PDK in this addresses one of our only concerns. It has shorter gearing, which means I can experience at least two gears before I'm hitting the speed limit. Top of second gear feels like it's about 70 miles an hour, which is still quick, and yet I don't actually feel the need to use the paddles. This PDK is so good at knowing what I want to do. That top of fourth gear on the straight is so brilliant. This is a Cayman. This is a Cayman making these sounds. It's a religious experience. Just, this is proof that Santa exists. It's like Christmas morning Dude, every time. It doesn't time. matter if it's Christmas morning or if it's Halloween or if it's Easter. You're not gonna be able to get one because of dealer markups, allocation problems, the whole thing. You have to be a VIP. How many Porsches do you own? Zero, but how many do you own? Shut up. All right, maybe you can buy one, maybe you can't. I don't know. All I know is that this is one of the most sensational cars I've driven on a racetrack. My good God. It's just, it's just a work of art. But you know what? It's a mechanical work of art, as is the whole car. The nature of this thing is so serious. Okay, so this has the y stock package with those really crazy extra ultra lightweight wheels. And I have driven the non y stock package. And the difference is honestly noticeable. It really is. The steering is lighter in this. But the front end, you know, obviously it's mid-engine, so it's so delicate. And if I'm being honest, I'm getting quite a lot of understeer. But you know what? That doesn't matter. Because A, I'm getting so much communication that I can fix it using steering or throttle inputs. And it is a real, real track car. Which means that the alignment is completely adjustable. Camber, caster, toe, whatever you want. The ride height is adjustable. Everything can be tweaked. This is honestly a lovely car to drive. But my biggest concern, and it's always my biggest concern when it comes to Porsches, is are they a little bit too serious? To your liking. <laughs> oh, it'll have a bit of fun. It'll have a bit of fun. On the throttle, the rear goes. I can use the throttle to rotate the car or I can use the engine to rotate the car. The choice is yours. Down the hill, up and forth, 100 miles an hour, flat on the throttle. Oh, 120, 130, 140. Woo! <sighs> okay. Have a good time? No. I hate being out here with RS Porsches on an open racetrack in California. It's my least favorite thing. The Porsche has turned you serious. <laughs>
Yeah, if there's one, well, I'm generally a very silly guy, but if I get serious, it's for RS Porsches because yeah. that's what they are. It is very serious because, okay, we can agree that it looks crazy, right? It's got the, it's got the swan neck wing and it's got, there's like air intakes everywhere, the NACA ducks in the hood. Lots of aero going on. None of these things though are here because they wanted to make it look cool. It just had to be there. It had to be there. They needed the downforce. For, for downforce, for cooling. Yeah. Right? Yes. So the things that d distinguish the GT4 from a normal Cayman are things like the uh, the, the side intakes yes. come out a bit and there's a spoiler and then there's this kind of vent here. And that's basically all you get on the GT4. Right. Maybe a lower ride height as well. Right. So not only do we now have front axle lift, which is the thing you can't see, which is a must. It's absolutely imperative. We now yes. get carbon fiber reinforced plastic everywhere. So this yes. hood, it's currently uh, visible carbon fiber because of the Weissach package, but uh, <laughs> I, go into, I, I can't say Weissach because the Germans say Weissach. Because I yes. was saying Wasachi, Weissachi. Yeah, <laughs> that's not it. Um, yeah. I wasn't saying that. <laughs> yeah, it's visible because of that, but this would also be carbon fiber. The wing mirrors are carbon fiber. Yes. Bunch of carbon fiber going on. Okay, wheels. Now, okay, so this is the Weissach package. The, you, if you want the magnesium wheels. Y yes, you have to have optioned you the, have to have the Weissach option. package. And how much are they? They're cheap. They were, it was Not like cheap. it was like fifty bucks a wheel. Yeah. Yeah. So it's fifteen thousand. I think. Oh, fifteen thousand. No, no, for the Vysok package. Oh. Fast okay. Fast, fast, fast. Yeah. And then the wheels on top of that—they come with the Vysok package. No, you have oh. to get the Vysok package if you want the magnesium wheels, which right. is where a lot of the weight savings is against the normal GT4. Yeah. Uh, and they are seventeen thousand eight hundred and something dollars. That's a steal. So, yeah. yeah. So altogether, you're paying about forty grand more, almost forty grand more. For both the things, but you save some pounds. You save some. You save some pounds. You also save pounds by getting the carbon fiber bucket seats, and yes, but the bucket seats save some weight. Interestingly, though, this isn't that. It's not that different in weight to the normal GT4. No, because they've it, this bit weight has been added. Yes. Because of RS parts and, and yes. engine and yeah. So so basically, you're 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 kind of you're trading the the extra performance from the downforce and the cooling for a little bit of weight, right? You are, but like, look, that's a sticker. That's a sticker, I think it's actually a decal. Same thing. What's De the difference? Decals are stickers. I don't understand. All cats are animals, but not all animals are cats. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. But yeah, I think I think it looks monstrous. No, it looks amazing. I think I think I would be compelled if I was specking this out. That's just me, to go for the Vysak package, to go for the full. Well, yeah, because like this is the ultimatist of all Caymans ever made. And like, it's like, that's like getting 99% of the way to the top of the mountain and going, nah. Right, like. Unless, get, unless it affects your ability to get an allocation or like, you know, we can't get you it. Oh, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you can get one that isn't, then yeah, do it. No, I think it looks fantastic. I've always loved the shape of the Cayman over the 911. That's actually not a very controversial opinion. You're gonna have quite a few people in your account. Really? Okay, yeah. well good. I like the look of this. I, I, I've always loved the styling of the Cayman. I think that even though it is styled by engineering, it works perfectly in this car. I think it just looks absolutely badass. You look at the inside? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Ooh, carbon buckets. They're actually quite comfortable. So, so these are standard for this car. That's the difference. That's right, you have to option them in a GT4. Whereas for this, you can option 18 ways for no cost. Right. If you want to be more comfortable, which right. I think is a weird decision for this. Maybe, I don't know. No, no, you're right. No, it is. It, we can make that call. This is a track car. Yes. These make, these make sense, these seats. So sitting in here. Roll bar. Roll bar? Yeah. You like the roll bar? I do very much. Yeah. I believe you can't get that. In, I think it's a European thing. Oh. See, I, I can't 100% confirm that, which is a shame because I mean, it's nice to have. It's nice. It's not as cool as that airbox right there, though. It is it's just so neat looking at it. I can see the carbon fiber coming in from the outsides. Great if you don't want to have a conversation with your passenger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the other big difference in here, you know, there's, I mean, there's race techs going on. I think you can option that on the GT4, but even if you can't, this is race techs, not Alcantara. It's their lightweight stuff. Oh, that's special. Uh, and this, even though it looks like a manual shifter. It's from a GT3. Yeah, it's pretending to be something else. A right. bit like that cameraman this morning that I had to deal with. Oh was, yeah, what was his name? It was like, it was something, something British. Something English, yeah. Right? It was, it was, uh, Malcolm? Neville, no. Uh, Jeremy? Chris? Chris, yeah, Chris. Chris, Chris Harris. Chris Harris, oh, yeah. that name rings a oh, bell. right. Yeah, I think we yeah. hired him for the wrong thing. Yeah. Uh, He's no, a legend, thank you Chris. <laughs> big thank you for Chris. Yeah, um, very much appreciated. And his, and his collecting cars venture. Um, now, this is very much just the same as the regular GT4, except it says RS in the, in the 
And it says Vice Hacker, you can't get a Vice Hacker TC4. I feel like you're now starting to have fun saying that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll Vice Hacker you in the balls if you don't. <laughs> um, oh yeah, God, there's a lot of, <laughs> we got a Vice Hacker here. Yeah, and got uh, the fabric door pulls, that's super cool. That's normal on the GT4. Yeah, though. gotta have it. This is really nicely spec. We've got the blue inserts on the seats here, the blue here, and it matches the magnesium wheels, which you've spent seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars on. No, so. this is a nice spec. I really like this. And my favorite part always has been about the Cayman is that the steering wheel is on the a GT4 steering wheel. Yeah, GT4. sorry, the GT4 yeah. specifically. Yeah. So Thomas and I did an extra throttle house video recently where we designed our perfect sports car, and we chose different components from different cars. Yeah. And the steering wheel was from the GT4s. This one. So. Really can't. That's. I think that we can't say anything more complimentary. Than, yeah, this is than that. of all steering wheels. I think on the market right now, this is the choice. But right? of all sports cars on the market right now, is this the, is the choice. <laughs> is, is this is the choice? I don't know. I don't know. Should we do a conclusion? Yeah. Okay. Spend half the money of the GT4 RS, and you can get amazing cars that take life less seriously. And you could probably get into something that's almost as quick around the Nurburgring too. But if what you're looking for is the final word in German precision, then as much as we hate to admit it, Porsche are right. There is no substitute. So, is the GT4 RS a cut price GT3? No, it's not even cut price. With the goodies, it's the same price. But to be fair to it, it's its own car. From its smaller proportions to its mid-engine driving dynamics, it exists in its own space. And no question, this is a Cayman in its ultimate form. The in-cabin sound alone graduates the GT4 RS into the realms of Porsche legend, and those hallowed halls are not easily entered. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Listen, we're on the clock. I know, I know. Yeah. He's, no, he's still going on. I know. I'm still, still going. I'm still quicker than you with one foot, though. <laughs> you, can't, you can't rinse me at the end, though. <laughs> <laughs>